Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm RB8 and I would like to apologise for the unexpected break we recently experienced. My life became a little bit hectic for a while and I wasn't able to get the time in to record, which goes to show that I am human and even my life can get a little crazy at times. Anyway, we're back. And here we go with Joshua 14. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, they reveal something new to me. May I ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. These are the inheritances which the children of Israel took in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed to them by the lot of their inheritance as Yahweh commanded by Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe beyond the Jordan, but to the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. They gave no portion to the Levites in the land, except Circes to dwell in, with their suburbs for the livestock and for their property. The children of Israel did as Yahweh commanded Moses, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came near to Joshua and Gilgal. Caleb, the son of Jophanan, the Kezanite, said to him, You know the thing that Yahweh spoke to Moses, the man of God concerning me and concerning you in Kadesh Barnea? I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of Yahweh, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy on the land. I brought him word again, as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed Yahweh my God. Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where you walked shall be an inheritance to you and to your children forever, because you have wholly followed Yahweh my God. Now Yahweh has kept me alive, as he spoke these forty-five years. From the time that Yahweh spoke this word to Moses, while well, Israel walked in the wilderness, now look, I am 85 years old today. As yet, I am as strong today as I was on the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me the sail country of which I always spoke on that day. For you heard on that day how the Anakim were there, and great and fortified cities. It may be that Yahweh will be with me. And I shall drive them out, as Yahweh said. Joshua blessed him, and he gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for an inheritance. Therefore, Hebron became an inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kazanite, to this day, because he followed Yahweh, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. Now the name of Hebron before it was Kiriath, Arba, of the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war.